I am Lo-Fi Thrasher Lenny Blade and this is Star Wars Ponderings. So uh, I just finished reading what should have been the true sequel trilogy. Uh, now I'm a big fan of uh, the expanded Star Wars universe as you can see, especially the books and some of the games. I, I was never that much into the comics uh, except for when I was a kid, obviously. Um, and apparently there are uh, there are comics uh, of this trilogy as well available, but I haven't read them because I don't. I'm an adult. I don't read comics. <laughs> Seriously, though, um, th this is a very good series of books. Uh, it starts with *Air of the Empire* and then it goes on and on. But uh, it has been affectionately affectionately. Uh, known as the Thrawn Trilogy, uh, written by uh, Timothy uh, Zahn. This is the first book in the series, this is uh, Air of the Empire, and um, the reason why I think this would have been such a better pick for a movie is simply, uh, like, I, I, I love, uh, as you can see here, let's take a look, like the X-Wing series is probably my favorite that goes down until here. This is probably my favorite series, but it concentrates on uh, Wedge Antilles and a Rogue Squadron. Super good books, but they would be better suited for maybe like a miniseries or something, like a TV series. And then of course we have uh, the new Jedi Order books. Which is actually a, a continuation of the Thrawn trilogy, per se. At least it follows the same canon, and that's what we're here to talk about, because nowadays uh, these are not considered canon anymore since Disney took over. I think that's where the break was. Uh, now these are considered, uh, what do they call them? Legends? Right? I think I have one of the uh, Star War one of the X Wing books here, and. Ah, the new release and it's oh yeah yeah it's called so it's called legends nowadays so it's not canon anymore uh, though it will always be canon for me there's nothing <laughs> anyone can do about it uh, so the reason why I love this trilogy of books is just because uh, it's it has everything that. Uh, a Star Wars trilogy, it's so it should have. I mean, it's kind of similar to what the original trilogy was. If you look at it, like it has space battle. Is I mean, it has battles after planet fall, uh, you know, like planetary battles or whatever you call it, and uh, it also has uh, Jedi power battles. You know, uh, lightsaber duels. Cool aliens, cool shootouts, and it also has a little bit of that political intrigue from the prequels that we all loved. <clears throat> no, but it, it does have some of that, and it's a lot better written here than it is in the prequels. And uh, apart from that, we also have a lot of cool characters. We've got uh, Han and Leia, Chewie, you know, the droids. Uh, Lando, you know, uh, Admiral Akbar, Mon Mothma. I mean, there's. You have all of those characters here. Uh, and also, if you are familiar with uh, the X Wing series of books, you also have uh, Counselor Fela of the Bothans. Uh, he's also in that book. You also have Wedge and Tilly's. Uh, is in all three of these books and uh, a lot of cool characters. There's a lot of good character building as well. I think the writing is extremely good. Timothy Zahn is a very good writer. Not only does he have good ideas, but he's also a good writer, which I think is uh, important. Uh, so it has all the elements of a trilogy and it's so clean, you know. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's, it's three books. Great story, great characters, 
great events and uh, kind of a cool turning towards the end. I'm not going to spoil anything, so I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, just trust me on that. There are, apart from the protagonists, there are also some pretty cool antagonists. Go, you know, we've got... Um, who do we have? We have Thrawn himself, Admiral Thrawn. And then we have uh, Jedi Master Kebeoth, or Sebeoth, I don't know how to pronounce him, but he, uh, who is a little bit of a spoiler here, but it, it gets revealed early on in the book. Uh, and that's that actually Kebeoth is a clone of an, an old Jedi Master, and you know, his mind has gone crazy and all that good stuff. Uh, Admiral Thrawn is obviously an extremely intelligent and a very cool antagonist. Like, he has a cool backstory and everything. Also, there's a captain that I really liked, uh, Captain Peleon, or Peleon, I'm not sure how to pronounce him, but he's like an Imperial captain, and he is uh, on board uh, Admiral Thrawn's main ship, the his Star Destroyer, Super Star Destroyer, so that's really cool. Uh, you have character development, a lot of other cool stuff, uh, aliens, you know, and you have political intrigue, cool characters, like everything is in here. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to share that, and uh, I've had a couple of beers, so sorry for the, uh, if I, uh, what do you call it? Slather. <laughs> so anyways, just wanted to share that, so uh, see ya.